Let me show you in this video how you could program Newton's method into a TI-84. First thing I want to do is show you the function. So I hit the Y equals button. Now what I like to do is because I so rarely use any more than one, two, or three functions, I just put my Newton's, the function I want to use Newton's method on directly in Y9. You don't have to do that. You can use whatever you want. But you got to make sure your program backs that up. Um, so let me show you the program real quick. I just called it NM for Newton's method. And let me show you what it looks like. And then this is it. This is the Newton's method right here. So if you want to pause the video and copy this down and then get this in your TI-84 if you have one, go right ahead. Basically I prompt for two things. G is the guess. That's the initial place where we start the process of Newton's method. N is the number of iterations. And typically for many functions it doesn't take many iterations. I use a for loop and so what I do is I run through Newton's method and then I restore it back into the variable g so it changes the initial guess value each time and it gets hopefully a new updated value. I end that and then I display the g value. So that's it for the program. So okay, let's go ahead and run the program. Go to program key, execute, run nm, hit enter again. Okay, what's my guess point? Well, by looking at the picture, it's going to be close to 1, so I'm going to type in 1.0. I'll go through 10 iterations, though that's probably way too many. And I let it run, and bam, there it is. That is the, a pretty darn good approximation to the value that solves the equation. God bless you, wherever you are today.